UFC fighter Matt Brown, a.k.a. The Immortal, had some interesting and harsh comments for women's MMA. Did you guys see the Ronda Rousey, Misha Tate fight? It was, all, it was awesome, it was right? Three rounds. It was a great fight. Mm -hmm. Great fight. Fantastic fight. However, uh, Matt The Immortal Brown may not like women's MMA as much as the casual or even hardcore viewer of mixed martial arts in the UFC. Here was his quote. The whole fight, we have women in one room, men in another room. Rousey and Misha come on and all the women just fucking gather around the TV like it's the fucking Kardashians coming on. <laughs> Jay likes this already. I always said, I don't know why they put women in the UFC. Now I know why. I just think this. If I'm going to pay $60 for a pay-per-view to watch women fight, they should at least be topless. Mm. Oh, what a schmuck. How many knockouts do you see in women's fights? It's not really my thing. I respect what they do, but look, they don't have the body type or the power, all that shit, for knockouts. If you're not a good grappler in women's MMA, then you're behind. It's no different than the 125-pound division of men's MMA in, their, in that they're just not really built for knockouts. Uh, before I even start, Drew, go ahead. Wait, I just want to say... Uh, he says, I, I don't understand how he says, I respect what they do, but then says, at the same time, they should be, be topless mm -hmm. when they should fight. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, he doesn't really know what he's talking about. And I think he's pretty bitter. Well, I, think, I think he's more bitter than anything because they got, you know, a big ticket fight. And he's probably sitting there like, I can't make no money. Well he, well, he had a back injury, so that could be the reason why he's somewhat bitter. He's but really uh, should not get to this point. However... When you're thinking about it, and you're looking back at this, and you're thinking, oh, Matt Brown, what the hell is he talking about? He thinks that he has it right up in here, which kind of disturbs me you a little bit. I remember that he gets punched in the face for a little <laughs> So that's probably another problem that would be something where they don't really talk about. So should the UFC suspend him? <coughs> what do you think, Jay? No. No? I mean, the, let, let, the, let the fans decide. Let people uh, who uh, watch it and... and determine who they like decide. It'll happen the way it's supposed to. But I, I want to make sure I understood exactly where he was going. Yeah. He had a lot of misogynist comments in there, obviously. That's the part yeah. we know about. At the very end, I think he said it's not that much different than the 125 pound ranks of the men. So then it means he also thinks the lightweights, I don't know what class they'd be, of the, right. men, the men of is, the same weight is just as weak. And maybe they should be, I, I don't know. Featherweight. Uh, what they well, there are they should be topless and they already are. But <laughs> like, I was, yeah. like so, it's it seems like it's a mix. He also disrespects that weight right. class as well. Yes. Yeah. So how does that work for his? So logic? it sounds like his main criticism is that they're not as good of grapplers. That was the one criticism. Uh, power, then power, power knockouts yeah, knockouts. Like by the way, Ronda Rousey, the Rousey Misha Tate fight was fantastic to watch. Right. There were no knockouts. There was a submission by Armbar, arm which, is her, which is her her signature, yeah, yeah. her signature <laughs> submission. But I mean, everyone enjoyed it. I was on Twitter the entire time. I was live tweeting the fight with a bunch right. of people. The reactions that I saw throughout Twitter and with like the hashtag UFC 168 and everything, it was, it was so supportive of women's MMA. So it sounds like out of anything, not just us putting out this clip and expressing our disdain for Matt Brown, but it sounds like a lot of other people yeah. are probably gonna yeah. go after him as Absolutely. well. Yeah. Especially they enjoyed it. I mean, I, like I said, like you said, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching it and I don't see why he And it was the co-main event. Right. I mean, there's a reason it's the co-main event. Uh, Georgia St. Pierre also said this on women's MMA a few months back. It's good for the sport. It's good for the girls that fight. But me personally, I have a hard time watching the girls fight. It's my heart, you know? It's the way I grew up, maybe. It's my mentality. I'm different. I'm different. I'm old school. Mm -hmm. But I have a hard time watching girls fighting. It's hard for me. Is it hard for you guys to watch them? you agree with St. Pierre? It's hard for me to watch it in general just because I don't watch, I don't know, I grew up watching boxing because my parents are No, no, I did too, but, but I... Like, so, personally, when I had my own choice, I don't watch it just because I lose interest in all of it. So that's just my own opinion. I don't care. If you're into it, I don't see what the big difference could I don't be. really, I mean, I don't really will go into a fight and be like, obviously, you know there's a girl fighting, but I'm, I'm not really worried about if it's a guy or a girl. Like, you're just watching it just to watch it. Like, right. That's what I feel like. I watch it, somebody's getting punched in the face either way. It doesn't, it's not like I'm really worried, like, this is a girl, I'm looking at it differently. Right. It's just, you know, I'm watching, I'm watching it more for the actual fight than who, if it's a female, male or female in the, in the ring. I'm glad you're expressing that, because out of anything, there are more people that are sort of having these thoughts that are transforming from, no, oh, it should be a men-only league. Like, I mean, even when you look at uh, Augusta, in Georgia, I mean, oh, women can't be allowed. No, actually, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fine. So I'm glad that we're seeing a change of the, uh, not guard, but change in thinking and, and this I, shift in thinking and overall. This, and this is something. This is somewhat related. It's always bothered me. Yeah. Why do? Why does the WNBA, another women's league, based it's the same sport as basketball, mm -hmm. why do they play halves? They can't play quarters. Why in tennis do women play three sets? Why can't they play best three or five? It doesn't make sense to me. It, I, I don't I get know. it. It's the same sport that plenty of other women 
what, women just can't play five sets? I've never understood Same that. Same thing with like softball and baseball. I'm like, yeah. I, don't, I understand maybe like the distance of the fences of power wise, mm -hmm. but like, I mean like, why can't they just run 90 feet? Like, why can't they run? Why can't throw overhand? <laughs> I never understood it. They what, can't see a ball that's a little smaller? How is this? I, I don't know. I never why understood it. I don't know. I don't have an answer for <laughs> it. I see, it's it, odd it, to it, me. It, it is odd. It stuck yeah. out to me also when I was, you know. It's they, always way. been this way, so it has to be like, yeah. wait, who, what? Who made these rules? Yeah, yeah. You know, especially like, when you see players like Serena Williams and them dominate. I was like, man, she won two sets. It's over. Like that was easy. Like, yeah. right. Shouldn't she have won three? Yeah. <laughs>